Alright. Rather than bore you with uh, details about how I got this far, I mean, it is Voyager, it's no big deal, but <clears throat> I am in Coastal Highway. I'm presently in one of the fishing village pods, waiting for this uh, storm to pass, which I believe came up solely as a way to run me out of the fish pod back up here, which, as I would say, this area is my favorite coastal highway. Because you have access to a bear, you have access to a wolf, you have access to deer, you have access to rabbits on Jack Rabbit Island, which is not too far away. Uh, you can stay in the fishing village in a forest, and excuse me, stay in the fishing hut, closest one in the fishing village, and put your bedroll out there. Keep plenty of wood, which is what I'm about to do after I finish here. I'm going to go gather a bunch of wood, I'm going to pile it up in that fishing hut. And uh, in fact, when I've stayed in Coastal Highway, I've gone to every hut, filled it with wood, and some tinder, and a variety of items, and fished, and put fish out in front of the hut, so anywhere I was out on the ice, I could run to a fishing hut and have wood, matches, everything I need. So I was never without supplies, and, and since the fishing huts cover the entirety of the ice area spaced out you can supply each one that would be only if you were you know planning to stay for a long time in coastal highway get set up that good at this point i'm happy just to have this particular fishing hut with everything i need in it not where i am now use this spot that i'm in now as a place to cure all my high gut indoors and as a place to, you know, to stay when it gets that cold outside. So, let me, uh, let me, let me sleep an hour. See if I get some light finally. Well, this could be one of those ones, huh? This, uh, here we go. Because this started in the middle of the night. Got one deer hide, I got some gut. So far. And I have one piece left out of the entirety of that deer. <clears throat> I'm fully rested, which, as I can tell you, if you're going to shoot these golden rifle cartridges you better be fully rested and you better be almost a hundred percent you're gonna you're gonna make the hit because you do not want to waste any shot you need the skill points you need the skill points and of course you just want to make your kill with one shot <clears throat> there again if you shoot, you see the blood splatter, you know you've got a good shot off. Don't go shoot that deer or that wolf a number of times. One time will do. Let them run. Let them exhaust themselves. Save your rifle cartridges. Already been through all these huts. Alright, there should be a hatchet or a knife sometimes sitting around. There we go. Alright. So my deal is, I like to stay in this hut. I like to store what I need to store in this hut, and typically what I'll do is I'll drop, which I haven't done yet, I'll go get a couple rabbits, I'll drop a decoy around here, and I'll drop one, like, right, you know, around this area. That way it'll draw the wildlife pretty much just point blank to me. Oh, that's true, I still have more. And, uh... So what will happen is when this wolf spawns in this area, he will walk right over here to you and stand inside the hut and shoot you. Same thing with the bear. The bear will come down from that, 
from his area, either down the, the main road or from that hillside, he'll come down. And he'll come right to that decoy. If you set a decoy out right at the edge of the ice, he'll come. And then if, it, he'll come to the other decoy if it's there. So it is a good bait. I've shot many. I've shot the deer, I mean the bear here many times. In fact, I've had him drop like just right there 50 yards away. I can harvest him and bring it all here. So that's what you want to do. Shoot the, the, the wolf here. You bring it all right here, harvest it, drop it. Take the hide that got up to the fishing village, lay it down. You get in a bind. I mean, my clothes are decent, but they are not. I mean, this needs to go away. This needs to be a heavy coat. This needs to be a Mackinac jacket if I can manage it. Both of these. This needs to be gauntlets. You know? Uh, I could up some of these, which I haven't done yet. I can repair this with it. Most of this stuff is at new or I'm down to decent there decent there 90 gets is the decent point 91 will be new that's the rate you see I already got 7% wet here so I've already lost some of this ability some of this stats here because it's exceeded the wetness ability or capability of these shoes. This I still remain. This can go up to 30 before it loses it and so on. Okay, anyway, because I'm standing out in the wet saying this. Okay, uh, I need wood. So Oh, it's still day. In fact, I tell you what. I've been already been up there, so I have some supplies up there. They can come down to me here. I'll look. But I've already looked in those huts there. Don't know if I've checked the ones down further. I think I have. I think I came in and I actually checked across. That's where I found the gun. I've already been all the way to the connector hold on the connector don't know if i've gone and eluded uh, let's see <coughs> so i've been to misanthropes and those coastal and that coastal house over there actually both of them okay okay waterfront cottages coastal house. i guess depends on how that's put I may have gone to the houses that are on this side of the road in Quantum. Let's see. Jackrabbit Coastal. So I have been to Misanthropes. No? Yes, first day. So, I don't need to worry about that. However, at this moment, I certainly could uh, grab up some, while well, I still got this meat down here, grab up some, uh, some rabbits, get some additional gut, get those hides curing. And there's my wolf. Okay, <clears throat> so this wolf is the same wolf that typically is out that way out of the ice he comes over to this place he just usually travels back over there there's another wolf that hangs around at the fishing village now i have seen another wolf out there where the deer is he doesn't seem to come this far in so there are uh, maybe three here now this guy will turn around generally doesn't go any further than the big rock straight ahead of me doesn't mean he won't. Yeah, he said it there now. So this would be a good one if I had some deer out here, but I don't. It varies. The spawns vary. You can have four or five deer out here, and no wolves, or a bunch of wolves over there, and no deer. It just goes back and forth. Ah. Uh, 
there was some wood up in the island, and I thought, well, I'll just go up there and get wood, but I just don't really deal with the, you know, my clothes are decent, there's nothing else up there to get, I've already stored everything else away, and that's that for up there. Probably better off just going ahead and harvest some wood over here, for the moment. Grab a couple more stones in case I see some bunnies. Alright, there's a wolf over here somewhere. As I said, I don't care about wolves. I have a knife, I have decent clothing. Man, they will die. So. It's not like I'm an interloper and I'm worried. They're not going to kill me. Not in 100% or 98% condition. It's not going to happen. Maybe Fluffy might do some extreme damage to me. That'd be about it. Now, of course, if you wanted to play risky, oh, what do you call it risky? Nice. I don't know. It's risky. I venture to say that the bear is alive as well and up here. And if you aggro the bear, <clears throat> He would probably come on down and meet you with the fish if you could get away. You can go and run down there probably by tomorrow you'd see him down there. There are a couple dead bodies up here with some stuff on them. There is a hut up here, but there's probably not anything in it. There is probably just some minor. But this is where the bear lives. Not the exact spot. The bear campgrounds are further on to the west over there, and that's where his cave is. But you will see him out and about over here. No crows. He does kind of wander around in that area. This one right here. Maybe I just don't come up here off this way. There's the cabin over there. And he will kind of wander around this area. And eventually go on down that way. Let's go to the rather down there. So that's what the fishing village is right down there. <clears throat> but fairly safe right at this spot in any case. But he will walk down this path right there. Sometimes it'll come up to you right behind that tree, you won't even see. He is fairly clever. The game likes to give you a warning when you're up here and the bear is alive because he will come out after you when you're up here. I can even hear, faintly hear something crunching. And there's a wolf that hangs out over there a little way. 
along with the bear. I don't know how they coexist, but and this is the type of thing, you know, I'm going to go up in this house. It's all fine and good, right? Or I'm going to go harvest this. All fine and good, right? That bear can be upon you in a moment. You would not want to go harvest these. You may get attacked by a wolf, you may get attacked by a bear. Even without a scent. This is just an area they come to. So if I go inside this house, there's a distinct possibility when I come out, there's going to be a bear standing right there in front of me. But let's try it out. There's not much at all in here. Wow, that's I was about to say, it looks like there's a player in there. Okay, so typically, and say always, oh, 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 oh. that's what I want to see. As far as rifle cartridges, they could be anywhere, <coughs> by a bed. Anywhere. Definitely keep an eye out for rifle cartridges. They are gold. And you will definitely want as many as you can find. And they could be anywhere. So, certainly a you know, next to something like that bed, leg, corner somewhere. As long as you find singles elsewhere. But for instance, something like this, okay? I'm going to go out this door, this cabin. This is how I'm going to go out. I'm going to be ready. I have been killed just trying to turn around and get back in the door. It's that quick sometimes. I don't see anything, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run my ass right on out of here. I don't know where the bear is, and I don't want to know right this way. I'll put it that way. Even though I probably not have much problem with the same thing, I'm too, I'm too tired. Just not going to fire the gun when I'm that tired. Many times you'll come down after something like that, you'll see him could be walking down the road. I've been killed by that same bear in a variety of spots. Right here, right up there, down the road that way, out on the ice, you name it. I've been killed by him in every spot here. My stomach is feeding itself. I have opportunity to gather up much more wood, but. Oh, that's true. What am I thinking about? We have it here for the take anytime we want it, right? This is an interloper. Now, of course, that could have been stupid. An hour and 45 minutes or something like that. That bear wolf could have been right here on me. I can tell you right now that wolf will spawn in this area eventually. I have zero percent doubt on that one. He will spawn here. I don't know when, but he will come up here. Alright. Midday. A little past my day. If you can hear the thunder, yeah, that's thunder. I'm in Orlando, Florida. It rains every day at 3 o'clock. Without fail. I don't know why. Just to have some volatile uh, 
volatile weather, volatile pressure areas. Looky there, is that another deer for us? All right. Um, we're warm. Still got, I got a one gallon. There. Let me sleep for one hour, just to regain a little bit. Here. Let's cook this stuff up. So my fire starting skill, cooking skill out of this, I need to get to a few more carcasses, harvest them, you know, or me, set up here, get all these skill levels up a little bit. Right now, it's fire starting cooking. Mending, which I'm about to do again. I put this ski jacket on. Let's get this going here. Get this cooked and then we can sleep. No problem. Have all the calories we need. This venison that will be at 100% once cooked will not go bad while I sleep through the night. Uh, if I was going to leave for a while and not eat it, I'd put it outside the snow, but I'm going to eat this. So. I'm not going to starve myself. Those just to have, take away certain things that useful. When I'm wasting a fire on my swim, we don't care. We don't care because it's uh, I don't care because it's Voyager. There's more wood, there's plenty of wood. Our sleep. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. It's not like I can go out and hunt. I can go get some more wood. Let's just see. So I'll just go ahead and uh, do that and sleep on through if I can do it. Of course, it could turn into a blizzard. <clears throat> we just had one, so hopefully that's not the case. But it could get really, really, really cold. So you gotta be careful doing this. And as it stands now, see, I'm, I'm, I'm free. I'm gonna lose. And if I try to go to sleep again at this point, no. however, say, say that I went and.
see if I can repair this. That's another good thing about being outside. If it's a light night, you can actually uh, you can actually repair. No, I have no more fall off. Oh, I left it up there. All right. In any case. Let us see. 1.75.1. 1.9. Wow. Please do some more fruit bugs. But since I'm going to be sleeping where it's not a windproof issue, 1.7, 1 1.9 is just not that much difference. But of course, I have not completely fixed this yet. As much as I like to keep a toque, that's worthless. These socks are worthless. Can't believe how much water ends up getting used. I mean, it's like you it's like double what you need to, to drink. <clears throat> it's ridiculous. Five five seconds goes by and you're you're completely dehydrated. Uh, I guess tearing them clothes apart just took me down. Okay, uh, <clears throat> what I wanted to do. Two claws each repair. <clears throat> this is only gonna give me the 70s. 80s. Okay. Let's see what an 80% rates. Four point seven five point one. Three and three. And eighty-four. <clears throat> so that's that'll help. Um don't have any more material. I'm at thirty-four bows now. So let's see. Uh, it's not gonna be much. It's 25. See, so I'm still just gonna lose. Well, I'm gonna get the 7.6. So that that's gonna take me there. So here we go. Say super. Oh, yeah. I'm cold again, but I did not lose condition. Because it was warm. And of course, now yeah, it's plenty warm, right? Okay, no, no wool, no bear yet. Sometimes if you hang around here, you know. He won't show up. You'll walk away when you come back. Now, here's a good deal. Depending on where the, the wolf is, there's typically there's always a wolf down at the log zone. Didn't see him last time I was there. But somewhere around here will be a wolf. I mean, it's almost a guarantee. I have yet to not see a wolf somewhere in this area, even if it's beyond the log zone. 
So, if you're going to use a rifle cartridge, it better be to shoot the wolf after he's taken down the deer, or to kill a bear. And that should be it. I killed deer with, with, uh, with a shot, simply as an illustration, but the rifle cartridge is just so important. I did not see a wolf anywhere around here. He's way up there now. So I'm in a great position with this. If I see a wolf anywhere, I can pretty much utilize this tactic. Because I have them all around me now. If nothing else, this deer could be a great way to just give me a nice uh, walk right into Kwanzaa. Because in this area, there may be a wolf that you just don't see. He may be walking around inside those inside the log area itself and until he just pops out you don't see him. But there's no yeah, there's nothing lost here. If I don't get this deer killed by a wolf, it doesn't matter. So I can't say it's ever a bad idea to run a deer in front of you, even if it doesn't end up in a deer kill. He will make a good estimate. So now you kind of lose him because he's not going to go over the, uh... Damn. Oh yeah, he will. In fact, this is even better because it's more likely if there's a wolf he's going to be up in there somewhere. And this should definitely tend to find him out wherever he is. So I'm really mystified by the fact that I haven't seen a, a wolf here yet. I mean, it is rare not to have a wolf out here somewhere. There he is over there. That's the only problem. It's kind of hard to determine once you get him in here among the logs what he's going to do. Then he came into the, uh, the area where the wolf kind of is, and now he's, he's kind of reluctant to be herded. So this is like a this is one of the things that's like a bad deal. It's a great deal, but once you get up in these freaking logs and stuff, then you can't control it. And of course you're ready to go oh, no, no, no. Ah. Come on. Seriously. Thank you. Let's make this a monumental pain in the ass. Now, of course, my little deer buddy has just zipped out of the way. Oh, I've never seen the weather so bad on Voyager in this area. 
this is uncommon. Usually this is quite clear, pretty. Sunrises, sunsets, oh, it's just wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, since I've been here, I've had a couple blizzards and just nasty weather on. And you know, you're just you're just determined to not cooperate, aren't you? And this gets really maddening because this should not be difficult at all. There's usually six wolves out here. We have almost no trouble at all running a deer to a wolf. There's so many wolves that wherever the deer runs, he's going to run to a wolf. But right now, seems to be maybe one that I have seen. And I don't see him now. There he is. What is that, a little bunny? Alright, now the other problem. If you're running into a situation where you have too many wolves... Oh, that's my old fire. If you have too many wolves, you're not going to be able to retrieve him. I know, I wasn't supposed to do that. I couldn't help it. I've already tracked this deer this far. I want some meat, and I just, you know. And look, I'm going to give him over to these wolves. You're welcome. You are welcome. Uh-huh. You're welcome. Shh. Huh. Man, I don't want to give my deer up. It's too many wolves, though. I can't take on all of them. And they will strip it clean. There won't be any gut, there won't be any hide, there won't be any. That's the only problem with that. Or maybe. It varies. But by now, I've already lost five, six pounds of meat. And there's three bulls around. Not that I couldn't rush up in there, shoot one wolf. You know, I could get all crazy with it and have all sorts of meat laying on the ground. In fact, I could just clear this area if I wanted to. Said my shot's going to suck. You know what I'm going to do? I'll just go to Quantum with what I got left. Sorry. Okay. That's a little bit disheartening. But you know, the wolves are generally occupied now in their little area, at least at one. I can feel reasonably secure that. Why can't I climb on these sometimes? It's supposed to just it's a pain to let me climb on. Alright. My God, what is it going to take me five years to get my stamina back? Oh, because I'm so tired. <sighs> yeah, this game is quite the pain in the ass sometimes. You know, it's not going to kill me. It can't kill me, but it's decided it's going to damn well try to kill me. You know, that's the way it goes. You can be playing on Pilgrim and whatever, and it's going to try to kill you. It just can't. Can't help it. It has to. Now, just had a blizzard. Just had another blizzard. Just had bad weather. Completely unlike this. I'm not on interloper. There's no reason the weather should be like. There's one reason. One reason only weather's like this. Because I'm tired and I'm already cold and I'm out. You know, very, very basically in the middle of nowhere as far as shelter. So the game's gonna go up. Oh, blizzard. Gotta have a blizzard. Immediately have a blizzard. That's the way it goes. And you see, I'm just steadily losing condition. I mean, I should have gone back. And I'm not going to hardly die because of this, but, you know, the game is just really light to just... 
really likes to mess with you. If this was interloper, I'd be all worried. And I'd be losing a lot of condition that I'd have to struggle to get back. And I just did just what I told you not to do. I wasted a shot. Didn't get anything for it. End up with a blizzard. Wouldn't have been able to harvest it anyway. So I got neither a deer or a wolf out of it. Wasted a shot. Not. The exact thing you're not supposed to do. So don't do that. Matter of fact, I barely have any rifle cartridges left. And I'm going to end up being up at Jackrabbit Island. Snatching bunnies up before it's all over. Because I'm not going to have any meat. The good thing is, I have canned foods. I'll probably farm a can over over here. And I'll probably farm a lot of food. I will always have a lot of food. Items. Ah! Who knows, I may even find a pry bar. I, I just, I do not have good luck with pry bar. So many games I get in and I need it so bad and it's nowhere to be found. Alright, we need to get our butt over to the garage or to a house somewhere. I don't think I have any food left. Or no, that's true. I cooked up those four, so I think I have two steaks left. So, it's not a big concern. I've already lost 35% condition or so. 40% condition. Yeah, you can travel to the Kwanzaa garage without going through all this. This is stupid. This isn't an all planned thing, and I should have never attempted to do this. Not that it's life threatening per se, but it just doesn't make any sense to do this. Don't look at this as like, oh, I should go run around the blizzard, get the quans as fast as I can. I'm not going to tell you that at all. I just happen to be closer to quans or close enough to quans that I just say, hey, let's go. Why is that house burned down? I'm in Voyager. Since when are houses burned down in Voyager, the other one too? Are you kidding me? Uh, I am in Voyager, okay? These houses are supposed to be here. I don't know since when this comes up, but this is improper. Alright, there's a garage. Since we're right here. I'm gonna hope that these uh these wolves are otherwise occupied. I'm just gonna go ahead and look. Oh peanut butter, no oh, peanut butter. Can't open it yet? <laughs> yeah, I need more disinfectant. I don't nearly have enough now. Uh, nearly have enough disinfectant. Energy. I do still. Can opener. food at this level that I'll bust cans open, I ain't gonna stress over. But it sure would be nice to find a can open. Yeah, they, 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 they tend to make it a little bit too difficult sometimes on Voyager. I said, really? 
work for that. I can say I have I'm not at a loss for running shoes. I have to wear your running shoes at this point. Okay. What are the branches? Charcoal. I will grab the charcoal simply because I will map at some point. I will map, but not necessarily so I can find stuff. Oh, there we go. There's my pool. Okay. Maybe on the outer. No clothing. Okay. All right. I'll probably get us to Kwanzaa Garage and then cut this one because uh, I've already gone. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a uh, there's plenty of I mean, there's plenty of uh, cloth here. I already got one. I'm gonna do some mending. So let's grab up a can. Slow right now. Twenty seven percent don't do it. Usually they don't, but I already got sick because of one. Yeah. I think they changed that because nobody was getting sick on drinks. They figure, oh we have to make people sick of drinks. You can't just have people just drinking drinks at twenty percent and survive. I know we have at least seven claws. Probably not a good idea to jump out the door and just go to Kwanzaa at this moment, but what was that? Was the wind getting me inside here or something? Yeah, I, I, I don't suggest this because if there's a wolf about, I can't run. Typically, they will be occupied on the ice and they will come in at different times. So, but there may be like one that hangs around this area and four of them are on the ice or something. So, there's no guarantee that you're going to get, you know, a pretty clear run in. In fact, typically, you can expect to have four or five wolves running around. At least a couple. So, this isn't a place you can just walk up and walk. Less, you know, you know there's other wolves. I see a rifle cartridge. Oh yeah. I'll leave that there for the moment. But uh, it's always good. Oh, there's my fire striker too. Bing bing. Don't know what percentage of that yet. All right, let's get all the stuff here. Typically, I put everything in the lockers, so I'll loot all this right in the general area. Then I'll start storing all this lock. Oh boy, a hat. What, what did I do to deserve a hat? Sometimes there's another can just beyond that one. Okay, I don't have a primer. So, one of these should be in. Okay. 
Our strikers are thirty six percent. That's about fifty, sixty, I guess, strikes. That's fine. Being, uh, I mean, I, I'd, I'd be a little bit upset maybe if I was uh, an interloper. But I'm not going to stress over here. And I'm not too concerned with. Uh, Carrying a bunch of stuff here. And as I said, oh, that's true. This is not really the place to store. You can, but you're going to find you're going to have to dodge wolves. So for just the here and now, I'm going to get rid of a lot of this or dump it in here just so I can have. But I, I don't want to leave it here. No, I just don't want to leave it here. Um. Nineteen percent. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it's not red, but ooh, that's terrible because that's nine hundred calories, and it's a pound. So that weighs a pound less than the beer meat. It gives you just one. It gives you hundred calories more than the beer meat. The peanut butter is the ultimate. So, like I said, I'm I'm up in the garage. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I want to look around, just look around, store what I can, uh, try to get some sweat off of me. So, what I can do is, I'm gonna go ahead and drop that. Maybe I could get a stick out of that. Slow, but I'm alright. Let's get the, let's get the rest. This stuff will come in handy. Plenty of hooks. I can make several torches. Oh, there's my rifle going to get. Fine. I was just thinking about that not long ago. Usually, you find a rifle going to get. Pretty quick after you find the rifle, if not right next to the rifle. But that was a little unusual that I found the rifle clean kit. Oh, looky there. Actually, and it just stuck it there. I don't think I've ever seen it. And another pry bar. One second, I have none. Now I have two. That's the way it goes. Definitely, of course, you know, you can use fishing tackle for so. Of course, probably rather keep your fishing tackle fish with and have your soul kits. Buy your own soul kits. Here you go. In case you didn't know that, you probably already knew that. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Completely and utterly exhausted. I should not be walking around with this, right? <laughs> okay, so. Uh... 
Wow. I don't think I found that. It's a trace. Is it one time? That seems like a new mood. Just chill a second. Also, another place to look for rifle. All of this. Goodness. If you saw it, you were about to starve to death. Are you crazy? You are in nowhere even close to starving. That's good, man. It's just got orange sodas and great. And something soon. So that's cool. I get a, I, I get a choice. Go on, lemon lime. Stand on Right stand. Go on, lemon lime. Do more great. Do more orange. So I was going to say, the cash register is to be a great place to buy a rifle card. Better. <laughs> yeah, boys and girls, you don't want to walk around this town. It is just not a good idea. Luckily, I'm inside, nothing can jump to kill me. Give me a rifle cartridge. Yeah. That's usually what's in there. If you're on Voyager and Stalk, you're going to write And I believe we're going to have a sub one. Look. Which, this is. <laughs> I'll leave the water for the moment. I just want to look at the. Uh, in the lockers because. I don't give a damn about a down vest. Or this one or this one. And they're both there. Of course. Oh, yes! Those are great. Alright. We need to get a bus to bed. There's tea. In the bed. Try this. Let's we'll see, we'll see what happens. And I know you're out there screaming. Just drop the stuff and walk in. Just drop it. Now I'm still going to chit chat those lockers. This is the stuff. That's what I'm gonna do. That's how I do. Do just clanking and banging. She, he, or whatever, or whatever. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's. Okay, what I would like to do is... I don't know if I just go to the lines. Go. I swap out those for that, but uh, let me check first. I just put that up and put that on the ground. This is the other one. This is now. Now we did the other way. 
keep it on six. Keep it on six. Keep these two on board. Torches either. Food items. Okay. Two of them. Oh, that one's at eighteen? Excuse me, that's not very nice. That gives me two peanut butters, 18 and 19. Um, I'm not really inclined to go ahead and see whether we have food poisoning or not. It's just not that important. It's concerned I have to have food items. I would drink almost anything, not now. Okay. Uh, we need sleep, so let's just go ahead and smoke it. Before we open it, Unencumber ourselves. Here's the orange soda. Very nice. Let's, let's get this uh, almost lot. And we'll top it off. Low level ones, they don't got anymore. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Accident. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and sleep here. See if I can get my oh, oh, before I stop. That's just good. Get your tea. It wears off. I don't know. I'm sorry. Let's see. You really thirsty? All right. I'm gonna cut this here. It's the middle of the night. We'll finish up this uh, evening. Gets daylight and. Uh, Tomorrow, today, on this run, go ahead and finish out looting Quonset. Um, I'd like to get everything up to that house. Uh, then we'll go out on the ice and I'll see if I can get those deer. If there's anything left, there's one deer carcass that's always there, and then the deer that I ran out of here. And then we'll see what we can do with the rest of our bottle bike. Maybe uh, stuff store. And try to work our way through the rest of uh, the coastal highway completely if we can. Uh, trying to get the best growth in so This is where I'm going to find it. There's potentially find them other places, but this is generally the, the best spot to find the best items. So I'll try to get the best growing items on and you search around for rifle cartridges for whatever stuff. Maybe go get some coal, store that up, and uh, just kind of get ready to. Because I'm not a store of coal, just, just 
to forge. At least I will at some point. So I will use the bow. But it's probably not something I'm going to be right. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Uh, but I, I, did, I guess I should because I do want to go ahead and craft so we can you know, we go through it and everybody can see it. Forge craft. Forge arrowheads. Because even if you can't make rifles and cartridges, that would be cool. Alright, so I'll probably go do that just so I can show them. And then, uh, you know, make bow and arrow. I'm still going to have to get some saplings and so on. So we can play with bow and arrow too. Um, still got, you know, two left. R for reload. R for reload. So let's get before I think I two. Yeah. Oh, so that number to the far right is how many you have in your inventory. That's what it is. Okay. In any case, I'm going to stop this one here. Uh, uh, hit the like button. Let me know what you think. Uh, come on back and watch another episode of My Gorgeous Run. Let's see where I go next.